the the other aspect of DJing with drum and bass and jungle is the the, the dub plate culture and the producer culture. Um, I said this to rap as well, and I, I think I said it to Bailey as well because Bay, oh my God, Bailey's just got like he, he's a hoarder of this of this sort of content. But you know, really? it's just bonkers that um, it's like ammunition. It's like your sound sound boy ammunition. Like it, it, you just get these dubs, and you just it, it serves is, the clubs. It serves. Yeah, it. dub plate culture was brilliant, right? Because one, it it it, it you know I got a big up Leon and. Paul, Leon, rest in peace. Yeah, rest um, in peace. You know, um, Paul and Chris at Music House. You know, them guys, that was like the meeting point mm. for all the DJs. Mm. No matter what part of the country you're mm. from. Mm. You used to come to Music House to cut mm. your dubs. We used to have the guys from Liverpool coming down to cut their dubs from Mad. Manchester, Scotland, everywhere. everywhere coming down to Music House. And it was like a, a big meeting point, you know what I mean? So Talk to me about that. What, so what? I, I, explain what the... Because, because <coughs> Leon actually passed away on the day we did the Jump and Jeff Frost podcast. Who yeah, Leon did? Yeah, yeah, he right, on the okay. day. Um, so we didn't really get into it so deeply because obviously it was fresh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But on in hindsight, retrospect, what, what was it about? Sound? What was it about that as a location that, that the, the mix, it was the uh, mastering? What was it like? What was and what was the vibe like there? Music, music ass was a place where, um, you know, we went there specifically to cut dubs, right? But, you know, say I, I'll give you an example. Say I got there at nine o'clock in the morning mm. or early because, like, Chris used to get in early, you know mm. what I mean? And Chris would say to me, boy, can he get in early? And I'd da 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 you know what I mean? So we'd get in early. But you get in early and your dubs are finished cutting at, like, half half nine, but more people are coming in. Stop it. You know what I mean? So, you know, you might you might stay there till midday, right, just yeah. chatting with the mandem, you know yeah. what I mean? Collecting more dubs, now you've run out of money because, like, you know, your your little three, four hundred pound that you had to spend on dubs, that's not done now. Chris has took that already because right? the dubs are coming in. There's yeah, because you're there's, waiting pe- and blah, there's people coming in. You know what I mean? So you'd go for lunch. There's a cafe down the road. A few of you and a couple of the men then will go and get some food. Come back now. There's more man in music house. You're hearing more music, and you're in like say like for instance, um, Doc Scott come down, and Scotty's cutting a tune. Yeah. And I say to him, Doc, can I get that? And he said, yeah, man, yeah. So that's another dub you've cut. But you, ain't, you ain't got the money for it, but you, you're cutting it. And then um, then <laughs> is, you'd Ed Rush or, or someone would come in and yeah. you'd hear Ed Rush tune. And, yeah, yeah. Or, or, and then you say, Ed, what are you saying, man? Yeah, yeah, you can get peace, you know what I mean? And yeah. oh. Now you owe Music House about 300 <laughs> quid. <now. laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, but yeah. the good thing about Music House is... Because he knew all the man was earning their money anyway. He'd yeah. say, yeah, don't worry about it. Pay me next week or when you come yeah. down again. But well, you're not going to get another dub. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know? exactly. You know what yeah. I mean? They was cool like that. You know what I mean? And like, they didn't just used to do it for me. They used to do it for all the man yeah. You know what I mean? And like, if they needed that help, you mm. know what I mean? And, you know, it was like a big meeting point. You know, you just, we, we went there, we just, we weren't just talking about dubs, we were talking about the scene in general. Mm. Oh, did you hear what happened to so and so last week? Oh, da, da, da. You know, just, it was like the, mm. the it was like the Facebook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of drum and bass, yeah, jungle. Yeah, 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 you know yeah. what I mean? And but we was face to face though. Now we're chatting and we're talking about things and you know, it was just like it was the it was the hub music house, the main hub. I'm trying to think if there was anything like that in hip hop. I mean, it just doesn't really I mean, not from a social aspect of you know, the word and on the all street. the top all the top DJs would go there. Everybody would go there. Sometimes I'll give you an example, sometimes I'd walk in there late, like about one o'clock, two o'clock in the afternoon. From you see certain men sitting there, right, cutting dubs, you might as well go home because you know that they're going to be there for ages. Like, if you saw... Uh, name who? <coughs> give, me, give me an example of who that might be. All right, let me tell you I'll give you an example. <laughs> Stories. Like, if you saw, obviously, Ryder, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you saw Groove sitting down there with skin and teeth, like, yeah. you know what I mean, right? And he's cutting his dubs, right? And there's only one dub room open. You go can home. either <laughs> chat shit with him, right? And maybe he might give you a couple of dubs or... or you think, no, you know what? Goo's going to be in there for ages, man. <laughs> Shit, <laughs> I'll come back tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It was yeah. one, it was one of them things, not mm. just Groove. There's a few, man, if you saw them sitting down there, you'd think, well, you know what? Let me just come back later or mm. come back tomorrow mm. or something. You know yeah. what I mean? Or you stay there and just chat shit with them. You know what I mean? Pecking order, isn't it? Very interesting. Yeah, there was there was a pecking order at, um, at, uh, at Music House. And uh, I'd like to think that I was near the top. Yeah, you yeah, well, You know right, what I mean? Right, because, yeah. like, it's it wasn't so much... Where you where you were in the hierarchy of the 
jungle drum and bass mm. scene, it was how you got on with Chris and Paul. Nice. And 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 Leon. Yeah. You know what I mean? So if you got on, it depends how you was with them. Now me and Chris and uh me and uh Paul, mm -hmm. which is Leon's dad, right? Got on really well. So I could get practically anything. I could just <laughs> go down and hand okay. over a couple of dats. If I didn't have time, because not every day you could sit down all day, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I just leave three or four dats. I say, Paul, deal with that for me. I'll be back tomorrow or whatever, you know what I mean? Mm. And that's your call like that, mm. you know what I mean? You know, it, it it all depends how you got on well with them. Like, I mean, Swift Swift um, had a good relationship with Leon. So, you know, you get looked after accordingly. Mm. You know what I mean? It was like that, you know? But, um, yeah, Music House was the... I mean, there's nothing like that now. No. Except oh, for Instagram and Facebook. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I know. Yeah.